Welcome back to the Exago video training series. In today's video, we'll be walking through creating a new advanced report. To begin, let's select advanced report from our list of available report types. We can see this opens our advanced report wizard, an interactive tool to guide us as we design the new report. We'll give the report a name, select a folder for it to reside in, and include an optional description. Clicking Next brings us to our Categories tab, where we decide what data we'll have access to on our report. It's important to note the distinction between data categories and data fields. A category is an object with many attributes, and a field is any one of those attributes. By choosing to include a category, we then have access to the fields within that category. Here, we'll include employees, orders, and order detail. We'll now have access to any of their respective fields later on. Next is our sorts menu, where we define how our data is ordered. We can select any field to sort on from our left pane, and to be clear, sorting by a field doesn't mean we have to include the field on our actual report output. Let's sort this report by employee last names, and then by order number. We can reorder our sorts using the arrows here, and toggle sorts between ascending and descending. We now come to filters, where we can narrow down our data set based on some conditions we define. We'll be skipping this for now, so be sure to check out our segment on filters for more info there. Finally, we come to our layout, where we specify what fields we'd like to see on our actual report output. We'll add employee last names, order ID, and order date. unit price, quantity, and revenue. Next, we'll hit Finish. And now our report has been created. We're now in our Advanced Report Designer, where we gain more fine-grained control of our output via the grid interface. Let's apply some simple formatting changes, like center aligning our fields, and giving our label some background color. If we need to access any of the windows we saw in the wizard, we can do so via our report options cogwheel here. We can also begin to add any of the more advanced features, like formulas and charts, via our toolbar here. We can hit Run Report to execute to the interactive HTML viewer, or output to any of Exago's available export types. This concludes our advanced report creation walkthrough. Be sure to check out our other segments for more info on various advanced reporting features, and as always, happy reporting.